Hey everyone, Kevin here with a video for you on how to save the battery life on your Mac. So in this video, I will be sharing with you some of the tips I have for conserving your battery life on your MacBook, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air. And you want to save some battery life. So we'll open up System Preferences, and then we go into Energy Saver. And in Energy Saver, if you have a MacBook Pro with two graphics cards, the integrated and the dedicated, you switch this to you want to switch this to better battery life, and that will use the integrated graphics card, which will use less battery. So if you haven't already, open up the tab that says Battery, because that's focused on the settings for the battery. And then for the display sleep, you can set, I have it set at about three minutes, and this just shuts down the display, and that saves battery. And next, you can set it to go to computer sleep after five minutes, uh, ten minutes, however many minutes you think is appropriate, but <clears throat> the less minutes, uh, the better, the more you will save your battery. And this is for after inactivity, after a period of inactivity, uh, that this will go on. So as you can see, all these boxes I've checked, these uh, help you conserve your battery life. Put the hard disks to sleep when possible. This is great because it saves battery and it also reduces uh, some wear and on your hard disks. So the second one is slightly dim the display when using this power source. Uh, just a little easy thing, but this <clears throat> Uh, uses less brightness, so it's not as strenuous on the battery. And the third one, automatically reduce the brightness of the display before it goes to sleep. What that means is after about 30 seconds or so, if you haven't touched the mouse or the keyboard, it just dims the screen, and so that's another key factor in saving battery life. And I have this option uh, to show the battery status in the menu bar right up here. Now, uh, this says 28 minutes left, but I use this uh, for keeping tabs on how much battery I have left, and it also shows the percentage. So, these are some great tips for helping you conserve your battery life. So this was in the one pane of system preferences, and this does the most in, in Energy Saver. This does the most for saving your battery life, but there's one other small thing that I'll show you. It's also in system preferences, which can help you save your battery life. So hop into security, and bam, here I am and you can disable the remote control infrared receiver. So just check that, that will disable the uh, for the remote. That just saves a teeny bit of battery life, so it's not a big deal, but it's something that if you really want to conserve battery life, will help. So finally, some of the bigger categories are Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So Bluetooth, I have almost always turned off. I'm running on battery now, and Bluetooth, having that turned off, does save battery. So that's very helpful. And it's something you might not always be using, but if it's on, you know, it's using a little bit of battery life. So if you turn that off, you can save some. Wi-Fi, obviously if you're using it, keep it on. If you're not using it, shut it off. If you're taking notes in class, then just shut off the Wi-Fi. And that saves quite a bit of battery. Some further tips I have for conserving your battery include keeping the brightness at a moderate level. Keep it at a level that will reduce the battery, so keep it as low as you can to reduce the strain on the battery. And also, if you have a MacBook Pro model that has the backlit keyboard, be sure to keep the backlit keyboard down as low as you can. Also, another way to keep your battery lasting longer is to calibrate it. And I made a video about this, so I'll put a link, an annotation, right up here. But just, you can watch that video, and a great way to keep your battery in good health is to calibrate it. So, those are just a few extra tips. So guys, this has been some tips on how to conserve your battery life. This has helped me get uh, some more minutes, uh, longer battery life out of the battery on my MacBook Pro. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I hope you found some good tips for conserving your battery life. So this has been Kevin. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.